summertime is about playtime. It's about having fun, playing in the water. But it's also a time when kids can forget what they learned just a few months ago. There's been lots of studies done about summer slide. It's a real thing. It happens every summer with our kids because they're not engaged with books on a regular basis like they are when in school. So this is to help with that. So what grade are you going into? Fourth grade. This is the Richmond Public Schools Lit Limo. This library on wheels is stopping in Richmond neighborhoods. Did you want to look at any of these other ones? Do you know who Jackie Robinson is? Every child who visits the Lit Limo can pick out a book. Yes, he plays ball. Participate in a read aloud and sign up for a Richmond Public Library card. I got a coloring book. And the best part is the kids get to keep the books they choose. It's that hooking them in. And one thing we have found is letting kids choose what they want to read. That student choice is such a big part of getting that love for reading. Playtime is great exercise, but exercising the brain over the summer can open up a whole new world to children. It's about a girl who wanted to be a superhero and she made her own costume. Building a love of reading is building better minds. Welcome back. Today we are celebrating the power of books and their ability to transport us into a different place and meet different people. And today in chapter three, we're learning about some librarians who are making a huge difference in their community. Hurt people hurt people. A lot of kids deal with emotional issues. This is a little library. We created several, but this one is a special one. It deals with anti-bullying. Book by book, Roshan Lindsay is filling the little library he built for his beloved Norfolk neighborhood with hope. I want to encourage the kids who are being bullied that they're not alone. It's not their fault. The small blue box sits at the corner of 35th Street and Newport Avenue in the Park Place community. Just steps away from a middle school with growing minds. I have a system for the uh, ones at the top. They're all for parents and the ones at the bottom are for the kids. The No Bullying Little Library is encouraging kids to be their best, be bold and positive, while helping parents tackle talking about the tough subject. I did a poll where I had so many parents and adults tell me they was picked on when they was a child and they gave me the names of what people used to call them. Cow, high yellow, nappy head, big lips. The hurtful words that cut at kids' self-esteem, especially black boys and girls, are kept outside of the library, while the kind words fill the pages inside. Mean words hurt, but kind words help. And some of those kind words they will find in the content of these children books. Books written by local authors teach kids they are unstoppable, even if a bully tries to get in their way. The anti-bullying author and comic book creator is an advocate for helping victims and their bullies become better adults. Just encourage both the victim and the bully that we all can live in harmony and live in love with one another. We've had a very rough quarantine. Michael only has one lung, so we've had to be extra careful. I've left the house twice since the middle of March. That lack of community, we're sure everybody's feeling it to an extent, but, but some of us way more so than others. Christine and Michael Dowen live on St. Pete's Snell Isle. The pandemic had the couple feeling lonely, disconnected, so... You get a little library in your front yard and all of a sudden everybody that walks by waves and, and you chat a little bit. That's right, to connect with others, they built a library. It started with a little china hutch. Then a stranger left a mysterious red book with a lovely note about community and connection. That was the day it was it was like, okay, we gotta, we gotta build the permanent one. On Craigslist, they bought a 1940s telephone booth. The Tampa Bay Times donated dozens of old newspaper boxes. Then the worldwide Little Free Library made them charter members. But there was one more twist. When Christine and Michael asked the community they missed so much, if anyone else would like a front yard library. 27 of our neighbors wanted to jump in. There's so much more to talk about, and our next stories are brought to you by the letter C. It's good to know. <laughs>